So, as predicted, the NFL has banned the swivel hip drop tackle, and many current and former defensive players blasted the legislation yesterday. J.J. Watt tweeted, just fast forward to the belts with flags on them. Keyshawn, you're obviously an offensive player, but thumbs up or thumbs down to this move? Thumbs down. Yeah, I might have been an offensive player, but I play with a defensive mentality. So you did? I give you there's, that. There's a, you know, a skip in terms of that. It's a thumbs down. Like, this, uh, J.J.'s right. What are we getting ready to do, play flag football? Right? It's just like, can't touch a guy past five yards. Can't hit him going across the middle because of the head shots, which I understand the concussions and things of that nature is a big concern. But in a minute... You can't hit a guy, you know, you, 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 your target spot has to be between your shoulder pads and the midsection. In a minute, they're going to outlaw that. You're not, you can't hit guys in the knees because their knees, they need their legs to be able to survive and play football. So now you're going to say, okay, hit them lower than that. Well, in a minute, you're, you're going to say we can't hit them on the, cut them out from underneath their ankles. At some point, they're not going to have a body to touch mm. at all. It just makes no sense. I've been tackled like that in my career when I played a thousand times, Skip. Okay? Pulled to the ground from the back, twisted around, all of those things. It's just unfortunate that things like this happen to a few players. Now you now you putting it in the hands of the referees to make a decision on based on a 15-yard penalty similar to the uh, helmet situation where guys are hitting guys in their helmets. You, you're putting that on the referees now. You're giving them another thing to screw up and mess up in the course of a game. Now, I don't, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. I know you feel a certain way about it because of what happened to Tony Pollard. Mm -hmm. I do. It, but in the end, Skip, they're tackling a guy. Yeah. When you grab somebody around the waist and I have to get you on the ground, your momentum is dragging me. I, I have it. to twist and turn to get you on the ground. I don't. What what you what do you expect from the defender to do? Okay, I will admit up front. I am still stung by what happened to Tony Pollard because I thought he was going to be really, really good, and he never was quite the same last year after he got hip dropped in the playoff game at San Francisco and suffered a career-threatening ankle fracture. I'm a fan of Mark Andrews. He played at the University of Oklahoma, and he was obviously Lamar's security blanket tight end target. And he got hip dropped and he tried to come back and play in that AFC championship game and wasn't much of a factor. And I, I don't know what his surgery situation is going to be through the off season, if he's going to need some cleanup, but he had the similar injury that Tony Pollard had. So I will admit to you, I'm a little maybe oversensitive because of those, but I do respect Rich McKay. You know, Rich McKay from mm -hmm. way, way back Tampa Bay days. He has been so outspoken about this from the start, and he keeps throwing out the stats. The injury stats on this maneuver are scary bad. And we're, we're doing the two primary examples, three. Lamar also got hip dropped and was almost hurt. Geno Smith was hurt for a while. Um, Tyler Boyd got hip dropped. Dana Tynahill got hip dropped and was knocked out. So my point is that when Rich McKay speaks as as loudly as he has been on this, I do listen, and I'm gonna quote him. He said, what's happening on the hip drop is the defender is encircling tackling the runner and then swinging their weight and falling on the side of the leg, which is their ankle or their knee. When they do it, the runner becomes defenseless. So I get it, you got tackled a thousand times from behind, but this is a different from behind. This is grabbing and holding and doing the rugby style sling forward where you sling all your body weight forward and your feet leave the ground and you're sort of drafting, you're using the momentum of Keyshawn to, to pull yourself alongside him and then fall down across his the backs to of his legs. To be able to get legs. my big ass down on the ground. Yep. Them little bitty corners yep. had to do that. They had to. Yep. It's just fortunate for me yeah. I didn't get twisted underneath them, and they didn't land on my ankle. It was fortunate when I for you. When, 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 I, 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 when you got hurt that time, what happened? It was when, my cleat got caught in the caught. turf. Okay, so it was Which, you. So, it was, so it, it, let it, me blame the turf on my okay, ankle well, being that's broke. that's fine. No, they need fine. to get rid of the damn action but, but, turf. But did anybody hit you as you were going no, down? No, okay, I was, was sliding and got... Okay, all right, all right. But I've been pulled down mm -hmm. from behind. I'm sure you okay? have. Okay, when, when, when guys have you, and let's say I start to tackle you up in your shoulders and I'm still running. 
I'm going to naturally slide down. And as I slide down, I start to lose you. Now I have to use that force mm -hmm. that you're dragging me with yep. to now torque my body to be able to swivel they are around torquing. to put you on the ground. Your leg may or may not get caught underneath. Yep. Some guys don't get caught underneath. They get up and they go live to see another play. Just so happened with Mark Andrews and Tony Pollard. Yep. And then Geno's deal on the sideline. The guy was trying to get him before he got on the side, got to the sideline. Yep. Just so happened, his body slung to the right. Geno kept going, and he fell down on him kind of awkwardly, and he got caught underneath with his leg. Mm. It wasn't, this is not an egregious Roy Williams of the Dallas Cowboys horse collar oh, so that right. he used as one of his tackling techniques okay. because he couldn't catch a guy. He would yank him down right. from behind. Okay, that so is way more dangerous you're, than You're this. saying that should have been outlawed. Absolutely, 100%. I mean, the, uh, the horse collar. Absolutely. Okay, so I told Roy when I played with him at the college, I said, man, what the hell are you doing? Mm. You're going to hurt somebody. And eventually, he We're hurt a couple about people. grabbing the back of the pads, basically, and yanking. Grabbing the back of the pads yep. and yanking somebody yep. down. Yep will certainly no, rip open no. something. Yeah. Um, it's got a little to... different than grabbing you around your waist, Skip. Okay. And now everybody sees and knows the horse collar. Yes. Right? And, yes. and so you're good with the outlawing of that from 100%. the start. Okay. 100%. And it seemed like it didn't take long before everybody knew what it was and said, Be ah, because a horse collar. Because guess where the horse collar is taking place at, Skip? Yeah. Majority of the time on the sideline. Mm -hmm. On the sideline. Or at least out in the open where you can see it. But most of the yeah. time, it's the sideline. Yeah. It's not in the perimeter where Tony Pollard's in the perimeter. Mark Andrews is in the perimeter where now you hit the hole, I got to tackle you. Yeah. Because if, if you hit the hole and I just look at you, you're going to run right past me. Mm. This is what J.J. Watt is saying. You're going to run right past me. So if I'm a defensive lineman, for instance, if I'm Booger McFarland mm -hmm. and I engage with that guard or that mm -hmm. tackle yeah. and I get rid of them and at the split second I get rid of them, you're sneaking by me and I go to grab you, Aaron Donald goes to grab you around the waist and as strong as he is, he pulls you down in between the tackles and guards, Wh what are you going to call? You gonna say, Nothing. You're going to say he, that's a, 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 a hip drop? And he swirled around, so you're gonna give him a penalty. Okay, but, you're gonna but find Aaron him? Donald doesn't need to be slung around. He he doesn't but when, but he, he doesn't guy, swivel but, hip but drop. But when a guy has force, yeah, and he's coming through the hole, and one of those defensive tackles, those defensive linemen have to grab him around the waist and pull him down with his momentum because he's dragging you. It's gonna it's naturally okay. you happen. You still tackle from behind. You just it's, can't sling and, and swivel your body where your cleats leave the ground. But a lot yeah. of times, your know, cleats are leaving the ground because you're strong and you're pulling me. Yeah. Derrick Henry is pulling dudes. Okay, but it's not gonna be a defensive tackle who hip drops. It could be, it could be a, okay? yes, but it, they just don't. No, no, it could be. But they're 300 pounds, it they, doesn't they don't matter, launch though. like that. They don't do, need dudes to. are strong, Skip. Yeah. They are oh, so wow. strong, and when I only have my hands around your waist. Yep. Your momentum is naturally going to pull me. Yeah. I mean, you way, just got to look at the clips. Imagine if Derrick Henry's a Dallas Cowboy. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't mean, say Derrick Henry's okay. name because of that. I'm Thank just you. saying because he's a big back. Okay. He think made about, a smart decision. Think about what this game went through when they, they finally realized you cannot tackle with your helmet because it's too dangerous as far as lawsuits go, right? It, it's oh, yeah. too litigious, yeah. as they say. So they all still of a sudden, dealing with lawsuits behind that. They, they still are. So it took about five years. It felt like.